Hey everyone, it is Robin Ellis, otherwise known as Inspired Robin Healer, and I'm coming to you with day one of my cleanse, starting one day late and realizing that it's day one with a difference, different to what I originally thought my cleanse would be. Instead of going to the medical medium book straight away and going into the food side of things, which is something that we often all look at doing as part of a cleanse, I'm creating a bit of a different approach and it's thanks to beautiful Mandy who I did a Zoom or participated in her Zoom call yesterday and I'm going to give a shout out to her in my on my page moving forward just because Inspired Robin always wanted to be sharing other people's influence and inspiration and stuff that's helped me like move on to the next level for me and she is all about finding your gorgeous um, and self-love and also helping out with uh, you know what you wear and how you show up in life and the layers that we have emotionally that you know can stop us in our tracks from being who it is that we truly were born to be and I decided I am going to participate in her five-day challenge which is coming up um, all about self-love and part of that and I haven't even seen like what the challenge involves yet and I'm going to pop a link once it starts into once I get the link I'll pop it into my page here so if you're interested in joining that you can go forth and do so but um, we talked she talked a lot about creating strategy at a practical level cultivating a mindset that connects us to our truth being grateful for all our parts and loving all of our parts of us, physically, emotionally, the whole gamut. She talked a lot about the lens that creates our habits and that we wanna create new habits. And this is stuff that I've done so much over the years and stuff that falls down a lot for many of us, including me, including me. So what I've been looking at is how I can approach my life differently um, and start loving me in the way that I want to consistently forever and what I noticed this morning and thanks to another influencer that I follow Leonie Dawson you may know her um, I saw a post that she had and what did she say in it this morning create before I scroll what others are doing so this is habit number one that I am shifting from. Not going to my phone first thing. And I don't know if you have that as a habit. My phone first thing. And I'm just gonna pop this. See, not, I think that might be going backwards. But anyway, not going to my phone first thing is one thing. I'm gonna um, create before I scroll set my goals and create a practical strategy for me to go into each day because there's so much in my life that I want to be doing differently and I'm not and I'm distracting myself with that wonderful thing we call technology and social media where you're watching me right now so I'm putting it out there today that moving forward I am working on a uh, electronic detox and changing my routine to not have this wonderful phone that I'm recording this video on scrolling in the mornings in the beginning of my day when I'm awake and the day has just begun and I haven't even got any runs on the board with anything I want to get my things organized my home clean and tidy my office clean and organized, decluttered, my computer and my phone decluttered and organized. I want my client uh, bookings to be filling up, you know? I don't wanna be avoiding life and avoiding what it is that I'm gifted here to do, which is Reiki healing, um, by, you know, hiding from my, my gift and what it is that I have to offer the world by scrolling what everyone else is doing and comparing myself to everyone else. I'm 
finding gratitude in my body and my family and the things that I have in my life and the things that I can work with and yeah setting my goals and actually going for them instead of sitting back and just watching everyone else's goals and maybe just setting a bit of time to catch up on everyone you know I feel we have a little bit of FOMO fear of missing out on what it is everyone else is doing but what we're actually doing in that moment where we're wanting to scroll and see what everyone else has created today is missing out on what we have to offer and what we can bring to the world and to our life. So, day one, creating my practical strategy, setting my goals, not scrolling what others are doing before I do my creation for my day from those goals that I'm setting. So putting down that phone and that technology for majority of the day and maybe just allocating a bit of a reward time to catch up on what everyone else is doing. And you know what? If you're feeling like you want to know what particular people are doing, just go to their timeline. There's nothing to stop us from posting what we're up to, updates, that sort of thing. If we know that, you know, we can have our list of friends and, and influences that we're into and we can go and see what they got up to today, like later in the day, once we've got our day done, we've got our yoga done, we've had our beach swim, we've done our gardening, we've cooked our meals, we've cleaned our house, we've created some social media posts and videos and content that educates and inspires others. Uh, we've had our clients, we've done our work for the day, we've been to our jobs, we've looked after our children, all that stuff first before we get up on this wonderful technology that we have that we call social media and we have to find out what's going on for everyone straight away. No, I feel it is time to cut those cords and to, you know, start honouring me. And honoring what I have to offer and what I do and loving the things that I have physically in my world and doing the stuff that I want to do but I never end up doing because I'm so busy and I please pop in the comments below if you fall into the same box that I feel I have fallen into especially this year with 2020 and COVID and lockdowns and you know being on your own at home do you scroll more than you create? Let's get busy creating and making something out of what we have and loving who we are and shining our light in our own backyards and in our own neighborhoods and doing things a little bit differently to what maybe we've fallen into. And I know not everyone is like me, some of you do have lives. You are out there doing stuff. You have a job and you're at work most of the day. You're not working from home. You're not getting stuck in the scroll, which unfortunately I had to admit this morning is a lot of my issue and it's causing me to feel depressed and anxious and not achieve to get confused and overwhelmed and not feel love for myself because I'm not doing the things that I really want to see happening in my life. Watch this space. Let's see what comes at step two. But in the meantime, I'm going to document what it is that I'm doing in step one and how it's helping me and what I'm finding from making these changes. Speak to you again soon. Bye for now.